iOS 11 will simplify freeing up storage with a new feature called App Offloading, as well as recommendations to better help you manage your storage. Here's how they both work. On an iPhone or iPad running iOS 11, head into Settings, scroll down to General, and tap into iPhone Storage. There it shows how much storage is being used, with the color code separating media types. iOS 11 also shows a list of all your apps, with the highest storage consuming apps at the top. Each app also indicates when it was last used, helping you decide whether or not to offload. Tapping into each app, the size of the app itself and also the size of the documents and data are presented. This helps provide a rough idea of how much storage will be saved. Tapping offload app will delete the app, but keep the documents and data stored on the phone, allowing users to reinstall the app later exactly how they left it. Of course, there is also the option of deleting the app entirely. Heading to the home screen, the app is still there, but now contains a small download from iCloud logo. Tapping on it will instantly download and install the app. Offloaded apps remain logged into respective accounts, such as Facebook or Instagram. iOS 11 also includes new storage saving recommendations, including automatic unused app offloading when low on storage. Tap show all to see all the recommendations. Each one also shows how much storage can be saved. Starting with iCloud Photo Library, it can be used to automatically upload your entire library in iCloud, saving you local storage, as it has done in past releases of iOS. There is also an option to instantly empty your recently deleted album. Users can also review large message attachments and easily delete the ones they don't need. The last option available is to review personal videos, which shows files that take up the most storage. Tapping into a video allows users to swipe through and instantly delete unwanted clips. These recommendations are uniquely suggested to each user based on how they use their device, so you may see more or less recommended options. If you find you are missing one of these options, don't worry. You can find them within some of the default apps in the list below. Starting with photos, you'll see some already familiar recommended options. On to messages, users can review and delete their conversations and media attachments, including GIFs and stickers. Safari gives the ability to view and delete website data, called cookies, which could include login and other info sent from a website and stored onto your device. You may also see a surprisingly large amount of strange sites you've never heard of, mostly being ads which actually store their info on your device. Users can delete them if they wish for peace of mind. It also shows how much storage the Safari offline reading list is taking up, though you cannot directly review and delete those items. Heading down to music, iOS 11 shows all albums and songs which are locally stored, and gives the ability to delete them as needed. If all these storage saving options aren't enough, head back into the iCloud settings by tapping on your Apple ID and then on iCloud. From there, see which apps are using iCloud and how much storage they're using. Tapping into Manage Storage, the current iCloud plan is displayed. Tap Change to bring up a menu for upgrading or downgrading to another iCloud plan. Apple also recently updated their $9.99 a month storage plan, providing 2 terabytes of data instead of 1. Starting with iOS 11 and macOS High Sierra, users will be able to share a pool of data with their family. Previously, each family member would need a separate iCloud account and subscription. Now, up to six people can share the same iCloud storage from the family plan organizer's iCloud account. There are also child accounts that will contain restrictions, as well as designated parents or guardians who can approve ask to buy requests from children in the family. At the bottom of the family sharing settings, you can configure exactly what you want to share with your whole family, including Apple Music, Storage, App Purchases, and the location of family members. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.